All right, so Sergey Brin, um, I feel like there's a lot of anti-Russian sentiment right now, um, and I understand how difficult um, of a situation he is in because I have said that I think we, should, we need a war with Russia. My understanding is that the Venezuelan spies um, should be kept safe, they're fine. Um, even though at one point I was being told um, we need to do something about them. That's the thing about people that don't understand, we should do something about people. Um, when you're a local cop and a person's addressing um, federal law enforcement or federal intelligence and you say um, you might need to take care, care of someone, um, I don't think they understand that. Um, but that's because they don't understand the situation apparently, but they do because if there's anything that they thought when I was 14 years old while they were tricking me or talking me into running away from home is there is a lab in this area because I remember where they told me that it is and is it there, um, you know, um, it doesn't matter. Um, I've realized that that's the last thing I should ever talk about, but what I am trying to say is um, when you have the biggest illegal drug lab in the world um, and you have very complex relationships because it's not just that lab, it's also all of our other businesses because we traffic weapons and stuff like that. Um, it can get complicated. So when these local cops know that, because what I'm telling you is when I was 14 years old, they knew there was a lab here. So I don't know how else I can get that across. All right, so uh, my understanding is the people that run YouTube um, are American and it's a very complicated situation because it's like, oh, um, what am I supposed to do? <sighs> my Mimi died. She died a long time ago. I just don't like talking about it. Um, what I want to talk about is my plan for an alternative currency um, that involves um, being able to trade or to buy used goods with the alternative currency. So we have a welfare system and my welfare system gives out money, but this money is only good if you want to buy a used Nikon D750 camera at a discount anyways, or I want to buy this lens that I bought used also. So uh, I can buy that sort of thing. I'm pretty sure my uh, stand, I, I bought this like really, my, my stand is like three, $300 uh, brand new without the head um, and um, I bought it used. So you could buy that sort of thing with my type of welfare money I would give out, but I don't want to give stimulus money to people that are gonna buy um, newly manufactured goods because I think that's bad for the environment. And I think a lot of people have things in their closet that they'd like to sell. And I would like to encourage the bartering and trading or um, just uh, use the used good market. Um, because why wouldn't we? Because a lot of things go to waste, like this microphone, that once I get another microphone, I will never use it again and someone else might want it. Um, so that's what I want to talk about. Um, I want to talk about my idea for pyramids that reflect sun in the desert. My understanding is that um, writing an algorithm that predicts um, the weather <laughs> with, it can get very difficult if you're trying, because, but I do have this theory that um, if you want to maximize the surface area of reflecting light from the sun at a certain point um, to, so that you generate steam, um, that you can maximize it by building tall in a pyramid shape. But then you also can only use certain side of the pyramid for certain hours. But I have a theory that it might um, be beneficial to do it anyways because you can have such a high amount of heat at a certain time if we if we can do that. But I don't know if that's possible. Um, but that's why I should be with scientists talking about those sort of issues. Um, I invent stuff all the time. Um, that's, I mean, like I understand like a lot of people are going, he can't, he's not even trying to be president. Why is he saying he's saying it's because um, I don't care if you don't like me because of a label and I'm not the person that wrote the Bible. I'm a clone of a person that wrote the Bible and therefore I have no experiences that they have, but I do have the same tendencies and the tendency that I have more than anyone in our group is that I'm really good at living at every single time period. Like, it doesn't matter if I'm living in the 1970s or the 50s or the 20s or the 1770s. Like, I'm good at living 
and um, I understand I'm I, I'm gonna have my voice be shaky at first if I if I end up in front of a crowd because um, I need to get used to doing that sort of thing. Joe Biden spends his entire life in front of a camera. He feels comfortable. Uh, my, I, I, there's a difference between doing it by myself and um, doing it in front of a crowd. Um, but um, if you want someone that's actually creative and smart, then you want me for president. And I think you, you just really have to get over the whole name Satan thing or my little statue thing. 